Hello, this is the Gamer X bringing you the new USC Undisputed Free demo. I'm going to be playing in the Pride mode. Uh, this game is. I don't know. It's alright, it's a good game, but it's got a weird feel. It feels more stiff than last the last UFC game. Uh, it's definitely uh, better graphics. The, the damage in the face is improved by a lot. Um, yeah, they haven't really improved much. They've uh, they've made the on floor grapple system much much easier. You only have to, like the option is you only have to flick the uh, right analog stick up or down. Welcome everyone. But, I'm Mike Goldberg, yeah. giving you the first look. I'll let you watch this. I'll let you watch this. This year's game focuses on a new look, second. improved accessibility, and intense combat. And we're very pleased to announce that UFC Undisputed 3 will include Pride Fighting Championships, offering players a ton of new gameplay opportunities. Get the stomp. UFC the 3 features awesome. an all-new submission system mechanic developed in conjunction with our fans. The previous method of the shine yeah, is I gone and replaced like with an on-screen graphic, which uh, clearly indicates nice. why a player was it's successful idea, or not a in a submission attempt. Disgusting. Pressing in on the right stick initiates the submission and brings up the submission graphic display. The color of the bar outside the octagon corresponds to the corner color of the player that initiates the submission. The color on the inside of the octagon graphic represents the corner color of the player defending the submission. Moving the right stick moves the color bars around the octagon. Brand the attacker man. on the Brand outside man. attempts to cover the bar of the defender on the inside. The attacker's bar Your will bar. shrink in size during the submission, limiting the surface area they have at their disposal to complete the submission. Submission bar yeah, size. If you want to skip this, I think it's uh, about fighter energy. Fighter three minutes skill. fifty in, and, the position and, the and that's when the actual gameplay starts. So it's around then. Now anyway. more than ever, you'll have a clear indication so, yeah, I don't really of why you were able to you finish or failed to defend a submission in UFC Undisputed Three for the UFC and THQ. I'm Mike Goldberg. Thanks for being here. Yeah, I'm, I'm new to this whole commentary stuff, so there'd be a lot of silences and awkwardness. But I'm an awkward person. You could ask people that I know, let's say I'm very awkward. Not one for speaking, but hopefully the more I do this, the better I get. I'm stop. Japan has about. a long, proud tradition of martial arts, and Pride Fighting Championships was the ultimate martial arts stage. The best fighters, 70,000 fans packed into arenas. The Japanese fans have tremendous respect for their fighters. To them, Pride She's was hit. the embodiment of the samurai spirit, the warrior code of Bushido. In a Pride match, win or lose, both competitors were heroes. The Pride Grand Prix tournaments were the toughest test for a mixed martial artist. He looks tough Winners as fuck. had to prove their resilience by beating two top fighters in one night. If you got through that, you proved yourself and to the rest of the world to be the best of the best. The Pride era gave us incredible moments. Dan Henderson holding two simultaneous titles, 13 unbelievable Crow Cup knockouts. Or what about the dominating six year title reign of Vandalay Silva? Pride Fighting Championships is where legends were made. Are you ready for this? This is UFC Undisputed Free. How did you like my uh, movie voice there? <laughs> so yeah, here we go. I'm to select been all up all the rules and that right now. I had to play as Rampages between Rampage Jackson and Van Lee Silva I think. Oh, I had to choose Jackson because uh, I saw a video on YouTube and he does the powerbomb move while I cried and I was like oh gotta give that a go. You only get to choose two fighters but the demos you can't really complain. Ah uh, yeah the uh Darkness 2 demo as well, I'll probably be putting up a video of that later on today, maybe if you're lucky, I don't know yet. Depends how many views this gets. 
about it, you get many, but you know. It's fun to do, you know, it's just, it just gives me something to do. I don't go out or anything, I don't really have a social life in that, but you know, I'm actually just speaking to a camcorder and then just put videos online. Open, you know, hoping for some human contact, you know, maybe a girlfriend or something. But, no, never. But yeah, Rampage Jackson is just a Can't explain. Well, anyone in USC is pretty much a beast. My favorite, Johnny Bones Jones. Ever since I seen him, I knew he had potential. I knew it. Always authentic, as they say, authentic elbows and spinning moves. He's truly gifted. And the sound's just gone. Oh, sound's back. Good. But yeah, I, uh, I realised that, you know, I had the uh, white lines on the top of the screen. Yeah. I had the uh, recording thing in the wrong settings. I had it on POW I. And you got to have it on NTC V633 or something like that. Yeah, now I got rid of them, so. That's good. I'm happy about that. Oh, fuck him on, bitch. I'm not much of a USC fan because I'm from England and that and we don't really get full coverage over it here. Well we do but like no you have to pay no something like no to the groins, no grab rock. 80 okay. quid just to watch one pay per view. But I just watch it online so you know, for free. Even though it's legal but I don't care really, you know. I'm not paying that much just to watch two people beat each other us in. Yeah this tutorial thing really annoyed me. I had to stop my game just to turn it off. But yeah, here we go. Uh, it's quite a quick game because I think I've only got five minutes to actually do something. But I do a move here, yeah. I get here and I sort of got confused on how I done that. So I just chucked it to But yeah, as I said, uh, there'll probably be a... Uh, there'll probably be a Dark Souls 2 demo on later. Or on tomorrow, it depends really. Because, as I said, my commentary is not really good. And I've been watching videos, but I can't stick to what they say. Like they tell me not to commentate about the video itself. Oh, you know, let's, let's talk about music. Completely different subjects to the actual video. My favourite song is, um, well, it's more of an instrumental. It's our, our DJ Jesus Ghost Rider. I think I said that right. Uh, my favourite colour is blue. Turquoise, to be precise. Uh, my favourite food, rustlers. Yeah, the uh, bacon, bacon burger rustlers. Oh. Yeah, he nearly gets me there. I was like, oh, sugar. Oh, I said something more aggressive than that. And here we go. I just stop pounding his head in. But then I stop. I don't like getting my cows like that. But yeah, as I said, the gameplay, it's, yeah, it feels that, stiff. It doesn't feel like... They said it would have more you know, flow to it, but I disagree. It, it just felt really fake. And and there you go, he's out. But yeah, as I said, it just feels stiff. It doesn't feel exactly... Um, fluent, Jackson. Like, sort of... Button masher, just rock the buttons and you're gonna win. And here's a replay of the punch. Just rough them at the right time, you know, just don't hit them. As soon as they're open, 
X X Y Y X Y. That's them not into the grey zone. No or human the danger zone. Says I'm botchamania. Oh shit, copyright. But yeah. Clean knockout. One, two, three, he's out. I win. So yeah, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Whatever really, just be you. just tell me how I can improve on my commentary because that is definitely my downside to anything. Like the gameplay itself is mediocre but my commentary. Jeez. Jesus. But yeah, comment, rate, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Tell me how I can improve. Thanks for watching. Light it up, light it up, uh. The whole city is mine. Prettiest.